the ceiling, see we ballin' with the sack. It's not a gimmick, every single day I live it. You're a guy that has been recognized throughout the media and throughout the league for what you're able to do given how young you are. It's something that a lot of people talk about. You're on numerous 25 players under the age of 25 list. Do you think that that gives you kind of a sky's the limit mentality? There's so much more that you can do? I'm honestly, you know, it's just me being, you know, honest. I, I look at that stuff right there and then motivate me a little harder because like, if you're not first, you last. And I feel like, you know, you see these top 10 D linemen, you know, that's not good enough. You know, I, I'm not, you know, I see it like, you know, I want to be the best. And I'm, I wake up in the morning, that's my mindset. Like, I'm, I want to be the best and, you know, I'm going to be the best, so. How do you spread that mentality that I don't want to be top 10, I want to be number one? How do you spread that to your teammates? I mean, it just shows, you know, um, as they see, like, you know, we got a lot of great players on this team. And, you know, I'm sure a lot of these guys, you know, probably want to be the highest paid at their position eventually, you know. But at the same time, you know, just about every day I come in this building, you know, they know that they see this, they see the same thing that we see, um, you know, because it's, it's social media, everyone see it. And of course they see it. So just by me putting my head down, coming to work just like, you know, I'm just my first day here that I don't know nothing. You know, I want to come in and learn from these coaches. I want to show my teammate that I'm going to do whatever it takes, you know, to do my job to the best I can to help them win games. That just shows them that right there that they can trust me. And like I said, it's go back to the trust and the respect that whatever it is, no matter how much your rank is, no matter what it is it may be, that I'm going to come to work and put the work in. So. Now you're a leader amongst the Tennessee Titans, but you're also a leader in the community. And you have a camp back in Starkville, Mississippi that you've put on what, two years in a row now. Two years in a row. And it's really a cool thing because you don't just open it to one group of kids, you kind of open it up to everybody, right? Tell me about your camp. Just like last year and this year, um, of course, you know, my first day is always like the ninth, July 19th and 10th. Now the first day is kind of like be like first through eighth graders. Um, the second day, which is Saturday, ninth and up. You know, I just, you know, when you think about it, I know me personally, I didn't kind of have that growing up. You know, you didn't, have that role model in the community that actually played sports on a high level. You know, you always looked up to all these other guys that you really didn't know, or, you know, I kind of looked up to my uncle who played in the league, but you got these younger kids who are looking up to NFL guys because eventually, you know, they playing this little league football, they want to be in our shoes. So it just, that mindset of going back, like, you know, I was once in you guys' shoes, you know, take advantage of all the opportunities, especially with, because I had a lot of NFL guys who come back and help me do my camp. And it just, you know, that's opportunity to give back. And I think that's always been my thing, you know. I always wanted to show the kids that, you know, no matter where you come from, no matter what it be, no matter what it is, you know, always never forget where you came from. And, and like I said, I was once in them kids' shoes and like, I'm, I'm grateful, you know, just that God put it on my heart each and every year, no matter what it may be, to give back to the kids.